Obviously, we had a tough first, <clears throat> but I thought in the second, third, um, there were some pockets of playing a little faster. Um, like I said, we still got to get more shots and people in the net. But um, and defensively, I think we, we, we got better. We didn't give them as much the second half, but you know, obviously the first period cost us. And, you know, that's a hell of a goalie they have over there, so it's t he's tough to beat. On the other side of that, what things were you addressing in practice today? More, more two on two, three on three stuff, battling. I, you know, I think uh, play without the puck <clears throat> was something that, um, you know, I think we have to get to another level. Um, if you ask me the last three games, what I would want, it's the same thing last year. We, you know, we demanded from the players is, a, you know, a lot of winning more battles. And I thought, you know, Tampa, especially the first half, I mean, they got the puck every time they wanted. So you got to eliminate people um, and extended box outs, we call it. Um, if we do that, then we'll spend less time in our end. You mentioned just not liking the start last night. How do you address playing a full 60 minutes in a practice? Yeah, well, I think it's just a focus, you know, addressing the team. We had a team meeting, showing some video, uh, going up to certain individuals that uh, explain them how important that they have to be ready. I think it's a, just a combination of uh, communication with your players. Um, you know, these guys are smart guys. They know that uh, they have to start on time. So, but, but, you know, the coaches have to obviously um, have some conversation with certain guys. You got to dig in. I mean, dig in, dig in. I mean, dig the fuck in! <laughs> or is this... Generational talent. Thanks for liking the video and subscribing.